Now, the economist calculated, and it's a back of the envelope calculation, that removing all immigration controls would double the size of the world economy, and even a small relaxation of immigration controls could lead to disproportionately big gains. Now, from an ethical point of view, it's hard to argue against a policy that will do so much to help people who are so much poorer than ourselves. The famous RAND study Some reckons that a typical people. immigrant who arrives in the US ends up with $20,000 a year. That's rough. And it's not just the migrants themselves who gain. It's the countries they come from. Already the migrants working for poor countries in rich countries send home around $200 billion a year through formal channels and about twice that through informal channels. And that compares to the neat $100 million that the Western governments give in aid. These remittances are not wasted on weapons or siphoned off into Swiss bank accounts. They go straight into the pockets of the local people. They pay for food, clean water and medicines. They help kids in school and they help start up new business.